Hi there, I'm Will. I'm here with Mike. We're the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello there. Welcome back once again to Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. We have issue 49 for you today. It doesn't come with any models, but we will be playing the game in it. And if you'd like to skip straight ahead without looking at the issue rundown, you're very welcome. There's a timecode in the description below. What we did get with this issue was three paints. We got Calgar Blue, Ogryn Camo, and Dawnstone, which we'll see in the painting instructions. In the magazine we have the Return of Space Marine Top Trumps with the Land Raider. <laughs> Got its little numbers there. Uh, it's basically a very heavily armed tank with a lot of guns. Um, oh, and here we are. There's a kind of cutaway interior picture of it. Full double page spread. And then a couple of variants. The Black Crusades. This is the work of this chap here, Abaddon the Despoiler. In fact, that's a picture of his new model, which is relatively new once it, when this magazine actually came out. He launched, has launched 13 Black Crusades across the galaxy over the last 10,000 years to achieve various objectives that apparently have all been achieved. He hasn't just failed to 12 times and is now attempting a 13th one, which as you see here, oh yes, here we are. So they all went all over the place to do various things. And then the 13th one coming in here straight towards Terra. That's his sword, the demon sword Drachnien and the Planet Killer, his personal flagship. And then for painting instructions, this issue we have three new paints which are all to be used for edge highlights, so that just explains how to use them. Ogryn Camo for the Death Guard, uh, armour panels, Dawnstone for black areas, and then Calgar Blue is for Ultramarine armour panels, so it shows here on various models how to apply all of these on different areas, and uh, it did, yeah, I think it does improve the overall look of the models, just gives them a bit more uh, depth to them, I suppose. Then we'll be on to our mission for this issue, so we'll get into that right now. So here we have our mission for this issue. The Silver Templars have set up a medical facility in the northern part of Kalon and a Death Guard Plague Surgeon is leading a small force to try and disrupt and taint it to make it worthless to the Space Marines. So we've got some artwork here and a bit of blurb about a repugnance going with the Plague Surgeon to go and take the medical facility. And here we have our mission. We're drawing on the long edges of the board this time, I don't think we've had that before. See, the Space Marines have a deployment zone, they have a 15 inch wide and up to the pavement deployment zone. And this cross here represents the medical facility, it is the objective that the Death Guard have to reach, and the Death Guard move on in their first turn. So as you see, you place the objective at the opposite end of the board to where the Death Guard start, then the Space Marine player deploys their entire army, and the Death Guard move in at the start of their first movement phase measuring the distance from the edge of the mat and Death Guard player gets here first, otherwise the Space Marines wouldn't have anything to do. And the Death Guard units can enter the Medicaid facility if at the start of their movement phase they are within one inch of the objective marker. And if one or more Death Guard units does so, the Death Guard player is victorious. They want the Space Marines player is victorious if no Death Guard units have managed to enter the Medicaid facility by the end of the fifth battle round. So technically, I could get wiped out, but if I manage to hold up the Death Guard enough, I'll still win, even though I don't have any models left. And it's a fairly simple mission, so we'll go into the army overviews and then into my deployment. So here we have our Space Marine army for this mission. We have the Primaris Librarian, the Primaris Apothecary, three Aggressors and five Intercessors. And my Warlord is going to be the Primaris Librarian. And I'm going to give him the Iron Resolve trait, just for a bit of variety. So he has plus one wound and he gets a six plus disgustingly resilient effectively. And his Psychic Powers, I'm going to take Might of Heroes and Psychic Fortress. And here we have our Death Guard force for this mission. We have the Plague Surgeon, the Malignant Plague Caster, 12 Poxwalkers and a unit of 7 Plague Marines with the Champion with a Plasma Gun and a Power Fist and 2 Blight Launchers and 4 Bolt Gunners. Yeah, and then for my Warlord, uh, he'll be the uh, Plague Surgeon. And we'll give him the Revoltingly Resilient Warlord trait, which is uh, Disgustingly Resilient on a 4+, plus against, except against Mortal Wounds. And then my Malignant Plague Caster, for his psychic powers, he's going to take Miasma of Pestilence and Blades of Putrefaction. So here we are, I've finished my deployment. Got the objective down here, just on the edge of the board. Got the Apothecary next to it, this is the sort of last line of defence. Got the Intercessors in this area cover, with the Librarian next to them and the Aggressors. So there's no rolling off for deployment, uh, no rolling off to see who goes first or anything. Death Guard gets to go first, so we'll head into Death Guard, turn one. And I forgot to mention it in the mission overview, but we each start with three command points. So the first model that's going to come on is the Malignant Playcaster. He actually measures from off the board, but that's the point he's going to come on from, and he's going to advance, so rolling a three. So that's eight inches movement total. So that gets him to there. And the Plague Marines can come on here, that's where the Champion's going to start there. And then rolling for them, they've rolled a one, so they get to go six inches. Yep. 
So that only gets them that far. Uh, then we'll do the pox walkers. Oh, I thought it was a little bit better. So they can go in eight, eight inches as well. So the pox walkers get themselves to there, and then the uh, plague surgeon did advance, but um, one inch would be enough to get him to here, so I'm not rolling it as far as he's going to go. So that's it for my movement phase, we'll go on to the psychic phase. So the only power that's going to be relevant is uh, Masma of Pestilence, because um, Smite isn't in range and Blades of Putrefaction won't be much use at this point, so we'll cast that on the Plague Marines. Needing a 6, getting it an 8, but you are in range to deny. Yeah, I might as well try and deny, because you've only got one super. So I need an 8 as well to deny. No, you need 9, because you're not, it's not within oh, 12. Oh, not within 12 inches, yeah. So I can't get it with a 4. So there's Miasma of Pestilence, can't see this, be cast on the Plague Marines. Then the only shooting I have is the two blight launchers, they are in range of the aggressors and they advance but death guard ignore penalty so on threes, only two hits, mm, not going to command point anything at this stage, wounding on threes, three rolling ones, two wounds, two five plus armor saves, made neither, so d3 damage, one and then the second one will kill so an aggressor. An aggressor goes down, take away this one, uh, well that's the end of my turn because I'm obviously far too far away to do anything else. So it's on to Space Marines, turn one. So there's been a little bit of movement in my turn. The aggressors are going to move over here. Uh, well, the apothecary, actually first, the apothecary is going to move back a bit to make space for the aggressors. You're going to move from behind this plasma relay into the area cover, which uh, it extends up to the edge of this city map here. Uh, they will have to advance to get that far, but one inch is enough, so I'm not going to bother rolling it. And the librarian's going to move back a bit just to ensure that he's not the closest enemy model. And then, at the end of the movement phase, the Apothecary will attempt to revive a dead aggressor. So, on a 4+, plus, he revives the aggressor with one wound. He does! Yeah, he managed it. Yeah, finally managed to bring someone back. So there I've put the revived aggressor with the rest of his squad. So, yeah, that's the end of the movement phase, so it's on to the psychic phase. So, the only psychic power help that's going to be really relevant at this stage is going to be Psychic Fortress, so the Librarian will attempt to manifest it on the Intercessor squad. So the librarian needs a five for Psychic Fortress. He gets it with a six. So the malignant play caster is in range to deny, so you might as well have a go. Yep, need a seven. Nope. Not with a three. So the intercessors of Psychic Fortress, which gives them disgustingly resilient effectively against mortal wounds, and they also automatically pass morale tests, if that becomes relevant. So it's on to the shooting phase. And the only unit that I have to shoot that is in range is the intercessors, and they're going to shoot at the Plague Marine squad. So we've got five shots sitting on fours, but I want to try and whittle down the Plague Marine squad. Oh, you got two hits. Made my, a difference. Yeah, my asthma presence distance made a difference. We only got fives. Ooh, two wounds. Mm, not, bad, not bad though. Uh, four plus armor. Nope. Oh. Disgustingly resilient. Oh, alright. Oh, I made both, but it would have been re rolling ones because of the surgeon. So that's it for my turn. Obviously not in range to charge, so it's on to Death Guard turn two. Well, everyone's going to advance, and um, we'll just roll them all at once, but we'll start with the Playcasters. They Playcaster, Plague Marines, uh, Surgeon. No, Poxwalkers, then Surgeon. Okay. So actually, I'll change my mind. I'm going to do the Plague Marines first, because otherwise <laughs> the Playcaster might... Oh, only, only seven. Then the play, Playcaster gets seven as well. The Poxwalkers, seven. Mm, consistent. And the other guy, oh, oh lots, but he needs to be at the back, so... Well, this is the result of all that, so we've done a little bit of shuffling just so the um, Plague Surgeon can make the use of his very high advance roll, but uh, yeah, yeah, so that's that, so we'll be on to the Psychic phase. Yep. We'll start with Smite, it'll hit the Intercessors if it goes off. Uh, it's a 6, so it has, but... No, I'm going to try and use my 4 plus Ignore. Okay, so D3 Mortal Wounds, oh, I need 1. So on a 4 plus it's ignored, it isn't, so an Intercessor takes a wound, Man over here takes a wound. Then we'll try and do Miasma of Pestilence on Plague Marines again. Got that with an 8. I'll try to deny. I need a 9. Well, I got an 8, but I'm not within 12 inches, so it's successfully cast. So with that, we'll be on to shooting phase. Yep. And uh, we'll shoot the blind launchers. So we'll shoot the aggressors again. Uh, so once again, advance, but on threes. And oh. Two hits again. I need to get rid of them, so I think I'm going to use a command point. Reroll one of these ones. That's a three hits. Wounding on threes, re-rolling ones, but not twos, so it's two wounds. Two wounds. Four plus cover uh, armor save, because we're in cover. I made one, so the wounded man who was just revived goes down. And that'll be it for Death Guard shooting, and they all advance, they're no charging, so it's on to Space Marines turn two. So there isn't going to be much movement in my movement phase. The Librarian is just going to shuffle along a little bit, so that he is closer to the Malignant Plague Caster than the Poxwalkers for Smite. 
Uh, the intercessors, the aggressors, and the, the apothecary are going to stay where they are. And then at the end of the moon phase, the apothecary will attempt to revive that dead aggressor again. So on a four plus, he comes back. He does. <laughs> so the wounded man gets back up again. I'll put him down there so he's in cover. And then on to the psychic phase. So we're going to smart with, start with Smite, the librarian. He's going to try it. He needs a five. Gets a nine. I will try and deny this. I need a ten. So it's D3 mortal wounds to the malignant plague caster. Three. See us the name's in it. Made none of them. Oh dear. Down to one wound. And then the librarian will attempt to manifest psychic fortress on the intercessors. Needs a five as well. Gets it with a seven. So we're going to start the shooting phase with the apothecary because he is actually in range. And so he's actually in range of the pox walkers, so he might as well have a shot at one of them. He has one shot hitting on three with his absorber bolt pistol. It hits. Wounds on a three, it wounded, one damage. Yeah, it's AP minus one, and kill one. So we'll take one from back. And then we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do the intercessors next, because some of them are within rapid fire range of the poxwalkers, the uh, three in front are. So we've got eight shots hitting on threes, five hits, wounding on threes. Should have shot the plague wings, four <laughs> wounds. Uh, disgusting news in it. Uh, oh. Made two, uh, well, I'm gonna say we were rolling once, but. Yeah. But that will be the end of the shooting phase because the librarian and the aggressors aren't in range and I'm not going to declare any charges, so it's on to Death Guard turn three. Right, well, the order I move these is probably going to matter depending on whether I decide to declare any charges. So, but we'll do the Plague Wings first because they definitely are not going to be making a charge. They're going to move four, so they can go nine. So the Plague Wings have moved up the nine to there and then the Plague Caster has not advanced because he might be able to declare a charge. The Poxwalkers are going to advance as well. So they get two inches, and then the surgeon might as well roll him as well. And try again. Four. Right, well, gets the box walkers up to this pipe, and the plague surgeon is just there. Yep. So we'll be on to the psychic phase. We'll do smite first. We'll hit the intercessors again, and get the goes off with a seven. Well, he's not within range to for his mortal wound an extra no. additional, but. I'll rely on my four plus ignore. Okay, so yeah. we're going to do two wounds this time. Four plus to ignore it. No, oh, I didn't ignore either. So an intercessor goes down, and another one takes a wound. We will also try and cast Miasma of Pestilence on the Plague Marines, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Oh, perils. Got it with the perils. So I take, you, you can't deny it, but I take the of wounds, and he die. Oh, and he might die. So disgustingly resilient. Oh, phew. Oh. <laughs> you got Miasma of Pestilence again. Yeah, and he didn't kill himself. Yeah, luckily. So on to shooting phase. Uh, we'll do the Plague Marines. They'll just shoot everything at the aggressors. Well, I say everything. It's two light launchers yep. and threes. Um, Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to use a command point to reroll one of these because that's not good enough. Right, so two hits. Wounding on threes. Oh, at least they wounded. Four plus armor saves. Made one, failed one, so the wounded man goes down. Ooh. And the plague caster didn't actually advance, so he can shoot his bolt pistol at the intercessors yep. as well. It hit, it wounds on a four. Yep. And in the charge phase, the plague caster will try and charge the intercessors. Okay, so we'll have eight shots from Overwatch, hitting on sixes. Ooh, nothing. And then he needs to roll a ten. Yep. No. Not with that, and even with a command point, I can't fix that. Yeah, can't fix it, I can only roll a nine. And that'll be it for Death Guard turn three, onto Space Marines turn three. So I've done my movement, the Librarian is going to move up around here and the Aggressors are going to come with him and the Apothecary is going to move up just a little bit so he's within three inches of the Aggressors at the end of the movement phase. The Intercessors are going to stay where they are. At the end of the movement phase the Apothecary will try to revive an Aggressor again on a four plus. No, uh, I'll use a command point to re-roll it just for the sake of it. No, Aggressor finally stays dead. So with that over it's on to the Psychic phase. So the Librarian is going to try and manifest Smite first. It will hit the Plague Marines. He needs a 5. Gets it with an 8. Yeah, I might as well try and deny this. Oh god, did. I yeah. denied it with a 9. And then the Librarian will try and manifest Smite of Heroes. He needs a 6. Gets it with a 6. On himself. Yeah, on himself. And then it's on to the shooting phase. And we'll start with the Aggressors. They'll fire their Flamestorm Gauntlets at the Poxwalkers. So we have 46 automatic hits. It's not very good for them. It's only 10 hits. Wounding on threes. Seven wounds. So you have to five for rolling ones. Made two, and there's one one. Made two. So that's five dead poxwalkers. 
One, two, three, four, five, I suppose. And next, I'll do the intercessors. They'll shoot at the plague marines. Eight shots hitting on fours. And a couple of threes. Mm, yeah, made a difference. Only three hits. Wounding on fives. Nothing. And then the librarian will throw a crack grenade at the plague marines as well. Hitting on a four, it hit. Wounding on a three. Didn't wound. So it's on to the charge phase. I'll do the librarian first. I'll declare a charge at the plague marines. This guy at the back is in range to throw a crack grenade, so he'll do that and everyone else will fire their normal guns. Yep. So we'll start with blood launchers on sixes. That's one hit. Wounds on a three. It did. Five plus armor save. Nope. Two wounds. But so you've got to six plus chance to ignore. Nope. So librarian goes down to four. Four wounds. That's thanks to his art, his warlord trait. Yep. Plus the gun, not supercharged. Ooh, got a hit. Wounds on a... that's a wound. Six plus. Nope. Six plus to ignore. Nope. Down to three wounds. Ugh. Crack grenade on six. Nearly. <laughs> six bolt guns. Six up. bolt guns. Um, got a hit. Uh, but winning on fives because of Might of Heroes. Yep. And then his charge distance is four. So the librarian has finished his charge and he's more than three inches away from the malignant plague caster. And then the aggressors will also declare a charge on the plague marines. And they're engaged, so no watch, and their charge distance is a nine. So they'll finish their charge like that. So I get to pick who fights first. Uh, well, I'll start with the librarian, I guess. Five attacks hitting on fours. So my asthma of pestilence. Three hits, wounding on fours. Two wounds. Six plus armor save, made one. Oh, come on. D3 damage, three. Two seems in it. We're rerolling ones, but I failed one, so they will be a dead plague marine. I'll take the middle one, I suppose. And then the aggressors get to go next. Piling like that, I guess. Uh, they have five attacks hitting on fives, because of minus one to hit from their gauntlets and minus one to hit from minus one pestilence. Not a hit at all. All those ones. So you get to hit back. So but these four guys who can will attack the librarian and, and then these two over here will attack the aggressors because they can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the power fist first on fours. One hit, wounding on a two. Uh, three, sorry, but yeah, that is a wound. Six plus armor save. Nope. D3 damage. One. Six plus ignore. Nope, rolled off a six. Down to two wounds. Oh, oh. Then we've got three plague knives on the librarian. Uh, one, two hits, but death of the false emperor. Gets, no, it doesn't work. Wounding on fives. Rerun ones, but no, nothing. And then two plague knives on the aggressors. Both miss, double two. Oh. And that's the end of Space Marines turn three. Mm. On to Death Guard turn four. So, although I have to, although it goes to turn five this game, I have to have someone within an inch of that objective at the beginning of my fifth movement phase. So if I, if I fail to achieve it by the end of this battle round, then effectively I lose. And these plague marines are stuck in melee now. They can only fall back, so they can't possibly get yeah. near that objective. So what that means is that one of these three units who aren't engaged somehow needs to get within an inch of that objective, basically. So with that in mind, we're just going to move all these units up normally. So that's the result of that, staying an inch away from the librarian. I'm going to have to make some charges. Whether I cast Smite first or second, it's only ever going to hit the librarian, so I might as well do it first. Okay. So needing a five. It's a seven, so that'll do an auto mortal wound automatically if you don't deny attempt it. to deny it. I need a seven because of my psychic hood. I got a ten. I denied it. That doesn't go off. And then we'll try and cast Blades of Putrefaction on the Plague Surgeon, which is a five. That's a five. Yep. It does go off, but doesn't do anyone any mortal wounds. Yep. Then in the shooting phase, um, these guys will have to just shoot the uh, intercessors. They yeah, they can't shoot because the Because they can't shoot both three because the librarian is closer. Yep. Uh, it's just going to be two crack grenades, basically. Yeah, they are both in range. Yep, so I'll do both at once. They're both hitting on threes. One hit, wounding on a three. Yep, it did. Four, four plus armor save. Got three plus, it's only minus one. Oh, it is only minus one, so three plus armor save, which I made. Uh, and then we're on the charge phase. Mm -hmm. We'll do the plague surgeon first, because he's the important one. He's going to charge the path three, but not the intercessors. Okay, I'll overwatch with a crack grenade, I suppose. So, crack grenade hitting on a six. Nope. Charge distance. Oh, no. Oh. Well, we're going to we're gonna have to spend our command point. I need him, need this apothecary dead. So, a command point to re-roll one of these dice. Oh, oh no! Double one. So he's not going anywhere. Well, we'll try the plague caster then. Okay. So he is within six inches, so I will throw a crack grenade again. Hitting on a six. Nope. His <laughs> charge distance. Seven. No, that's oh, that's definitely right. enough. Okay. 
hands after that. Mm-hmm. So you can pile them around the corner. And then finally we've got the Poxwalkers, because they'll charge both units. Okay, so we've got the Overwatch from the Intercessors. I guess one will throw a frag grenade and the other three will fire their bolt rifles. So frag grenade, D6 shots. Two. Hitting on sixes. All well, got a hit. Wounds on four. Get wounded. Disgusting is in it. Nope. And six bolt rifle shots hitting on sixes. There's one there as well. And wounds on three. Oh, it doesn't wound. Ah, uh, wait, roll. And their charge. Oh, oh wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, the dice gods are not on my side. No. So they're stuck there. So, um, well. Oh, mm-hmm. you can hurriedly intervene. Oh, I can hurriedly intervene, which I will. Yeah, so I heroically intervened into the uh, Malignant Plague Caster, which means he can't pile in, because otherwise he'd be able to pile in around here and then probably be within an inch of the objective. Yeah. But if the Malignant Plague Caster can kill the Apothecary, uh, he should be able to consolidate, he can probably move to about here, and, and that will be within well, an inch. Yeah. But basically I had no other choice, because yeah. I didn't have enough move to get within an inch of that, so I had to do it with a pile-in move, yeah. and uh, you can just ruin it with that. Yeah, so you've got three attacks hitting on threes. Yep. Uh, that's not a good way to do it. In no. fact, that means he can't do it. No, so, do it. He, but he's winning him on a three. He did wound. Um, it's only minus one AP, so we've got a four plus armor save, which I made. So no damage. No damage to the pot green. And then, it, then it's my turn to pick, though. Yep. Unless you want to spend two command points to interrupt. Yeah, I will, because I think I have one with the game at this point. Yeah. Anyway. I'll spend two command, and we haven't seen the strategy, so I'll spend two command points to interrupt with the librarian, because he still has my heroes. And you no longer have Miasma of Pestilence. Yeah. So he's got five attacks hitting on threes now. And still only three hits. Wounding on fours. It's two wounds. Uh, six plus armor. Nope. D3 damage for the first one is three. Five three rolling ones. Uh, nope, that was kill one even if I re-roll that one. And the other one is also three. Again. Uh, so we'll take away these ones that would have been hitting the aggressors, I suppose. Yeah. Now I get to go. And, well, the librarian's gone, but I want to kill him, so we'll do that, I suppose. Okay. So the power fist misses twice. Phew. It's not likely to do anything. And then three knives, two hits, but death of the false emperor. Get no, it still doesn't work. Wounding on all five. Right. So yeah, at least. two wounds, three plus armor saves. Failed one, made one, but I got a six plus chance to ignore. Oh, it still didn't. <laughs> but the extra wound from that wall of tray has kept him alive. Yeah, he's down to one, but he yeah. would be dead. And then the aggressors get to fight back. They have five attacks, hitting on fours, because they have one to hit. They got hit! <laughs> Good job, aggressors. Uh, wounds on a three. You're wounded. Six plus. Nope. D3 damage. Three. You discussing your it? Nope. Another one dead. Take this one back. And when the apothecary gets to fight the malignant plague caster, he has three attacks, hitting on threes. They all hit, wounding on fives, because no melee weapon, no wounds. And then at the end of the turn, the plane means have to take morale test, because they took three casualties. On six. So that's the end of Death Guard turn four, on to Space Marines turn four. So in my movement phase, I'm going to play it safe and move the Apothecary more than three inches away from the Malignant Playcaster, so you can't heroically intervene. And the same with the Intercessors, they're more than three inches away, so that he can't possibly get any extra movement and then uh, the Librarian and the Aggressors are going to stay where they are. And at the end of the movement phase, the Apothecary will heal the Wounded Intercessor. And then it'll be on to the Psychic phase. The Librarian will start with Smite. So he needs a 5, gets a 10. I guess I'll try and deny, because you could just wipe them out. No. So it's D3 Mortal Wounds to the uh, Plane Marines. 3. 5s. Ooh, made 2. Uh, but one. So 1 goes down. Take away this one. Yeah. And then the librarian will try and cast Might of Heroes. Needs a six, doesn't get it with a three, but at least he didn't blow up. And then it'll be on to the shooting phase. Uh, we'll do the Apothecary first, he'll fire his Absorber Bolt Pistol at the uh, Malignant Plague Caster. One shot hitting on a four, it hit. Wounds on a four, it wounded. Minus one AP, so on a four plus, nope. Yeah, no, he dies. Uh, no. Malignant Plague Caster goes down. Uh, then the Intercessors will shoot at the Poxwalkers. Uh, we won't bother with frag grenades. So we've got eight shots hitting on threes. It's five hits. Wounding on threes. Five wounds. Uh, five three rolling ones. May two, but that's three dead and no ones. So Poxwalkers go down. And then the Librarian in combat. He's got a bolt pistol, so he'll shoot it. It hit. Wounds on a five. He wounded. Wow, double six. Uh, three plus. Nope. Oh. Disgusting, you idiot. 
Nope. Oh. So he shoots a light launcher in the face. And then it's on to melee. Do, 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 do. No. Oh. Uh, I'll start with the librarian. Yep, so I've, I've heroically intervened him into the yeah. librarian just because I can and I can't win, so yeah. might as well. Spite. Yeah I'll, pick the li- uh, yeah, I'll pick the librarian and I'll attack your your guy just to, just for the sake of it. So he's got four attacks now because he didn't get my heroes. Feeding on threes. Ooh, three hits. Wounding on fives. Ah, nothing. Yeah, fine. Well, oh, well, actually, I'll pick the champion yeah. next. No, no, I'll do the plague surgery because he can only hit the librarian. Yep. Three attacks hitting on twos because he gets plus, plus one, one which means fives will trigger death of the false emperor. <laughs> okay. Oh, he got yep, but you only got two hits. Uh, and then he is wounding on threes because he gets plus one to wound. But he's got blades of future faction still. So he's wounding on twos. So he's wounding on twos and sixes cause five, fives cause mortal wounds because of his innate plus one to wound. Right. So that's not uh, but rerolling ones because he's got a blade weapon. So that's actually that's actually two mortal wounds which will kill him. Uh, so and that's no, two two wounds and two mortal wounds. Two wounds and two mortal wounds. Yes. So two six plus armor saves. I made one, and then there's three wounds. You can make a triple six. No, I ignored one at you last. You made a six at last. But uh, the librarian will die. He did his job, and yeah. the aggressors will pile in. They'll pile in to the champion. They have five attacks, hitting on fours. They got two hits this time. Oh, they've improved. Maybe on threes. No. Oh. No, never mind. I spoke too soon. Yeah. So that's the end of Space Rings. I'm going to hit him. Oh, yeah, the champion gets to fight back. Yeah. He denied me my champion. Oh, he hit once, and he. Uh, oh, he did wound. Six uh, plus armor save for the aggressor. Nope. D3. One damage, so it doesn't, doesn't even care. Gressa takes a wound. Yeah, and, well, at this point I can't possibly win, and I've only got two models left. I can't possibly win because at the start of my turn, which is about to happen, I have to have somebody over there to, to yeah. escape off the board. So and, he's uh, definitely not within an inch of the objective? No, somehow. So, yeah, two models left. I'm not even going to try playing it out for the spike kills. <laughs> so that will be a Space Marine victory, and we'll recap that for you now. So that was the mission from issue 49 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. How did you think that went? Well, I, was, I think that's a very difficult mission for the Death Guard, to be honest. Um, I think I probably lost it, actually, with my poor advance rolls at the beginning. Well, they weren't terrible, but they weren't good enough. I, mean, right. I just wasn't close enough at the end of the game. Yeah, I mean, you effectively spent three turns just advancing. Yeah. And then you effectively... It's the end of the fifth battle round that the Space Marines win, but effectively the Death Guard only have four battle rounds to actually get within an inch of the objective. Yes, exactly. Um, being there at the beginning of the first, fifth battle round meant that yeah. I had to charge in either the third or third, fourth turn. Yeah, and since if you roll poorly for advance rolls, if you roll really well for your advance rolls, you might be able to get start getting into range in the third turn, but probably going to take three turns just getting into range to yeah. charge. Or... As it was in the third turn, my charges were roughly tens to get there. Because you inches. have to travel, was it 32 inches or something? Something like that, yeah. yeah it's least. really quite a long way, actually. Yeah. Which, yeah, with slow Death Guard units. Yeah, it's not really ideal. Well, I suppose as well you could alter the objective slightly so that it's at the end of the fifth battle round if there's a Death Guard unit within an inch rather than having to be within an inch at the start of the first battle round. Yeah, that's off. true, yeah. yeah. give you a little bit of extra time. Obviously, I did actually lose, essentially, with those two double ones for a charge roll, yeah. because I would have just had a few more units near the objective and might have been able to... Because if I plunk, plonked someone there... If you got the Plague Surgeon and the Plague Caster into the Apothecary, yeah. there's a pretty good chance you could kill him, especially with Blades of Putrefaction on the Plague Surgeon. You could have piled into the inter- into the Intercessors and probably gone within an inch, yeah. and they probably couldn't kill you. And if I had two characters in, I would have been able to prevent, prevent you from doing that uh, heroic intervention trick that you used yeah. to keep the Plague Surgeon from actually moving, because I would have put one guy in base contact, and then the other one could have piled him around the yeah. back. I suppose the Plague Surgeon did actually get... To, well, first time we saw him, he failed his charge. And, and he's uh, done it again. He failed again. But he did, after the end of the game, effectively, he did get to do something, at least. I didn't. I basically didn't roll any disgusting resilient rolls of one that were relevant. As in, I rolled one or two when a few units yeah, were out of range. Yeah, it was mostly twos and threes and fours. Or you were doing three damage, so I rolled mm. a one, but it didn't matter, because re-rolling it still wouldn't have saved whoever was dying at the time. So he wasn't that useful in that respect, either. At least they were decent enough characters. didn't have anyone useless, like the Biologue's Putrefire mm. in this mission. Well, well <laughs> say the bell man would have been really good in this yeah mission. actually that's true it would have been useful maybe he does have a use making me move faster in missions and, uh, and uh, you roll uh, pretty poorly for the blind launchers yeah they didn't do very well either actually you have to use command points just to get them up to 50% hits basically and even yeah and then even then that confounded aggressor kept getting up again. yeah the apothecary had a really good game he finally managed to revive someone he got the hang of it he basically Forward. paid for himself by reviving the aggressor twice and uh, the librarian, I took Iron Resolve just because for variety, otherwise I'd just be taking Storm of Fire all the time. 
Yeah, because you didn't really have that much firepower in this mission. No, and I don't think I rolled any sixes to wound for the intercessors anyway. But not that much to benefit from Storm of Fire. Um, and Iron Resolve did keep him alive for another turn, or more yeah. wounds, even though he only ignored one wound in mm. the end. But It actually didn't matter really at that point. Because once he'd charged into the Plague Marines with the aggressors, he'd done his job, because he yeah. stopped those that big unit of seven being able to get anywhere near the objective in my final turn, which meant I had to do it with a couple of Poxwalkers and two characters. They were the only chance at that point. So that charge ensured that you could definitely hold the objective, I think, pretty mm. much. And I suppose you could also consider only advancing the Plague Marines once or maybe twice, so you could leave the Plague Marines behind, essentially, to shoot at the space. Yeah, ones. especially if I could have put them near the ammo boxes, so I could have actually used the Plague Marines' firepower better. Because if I killed all those aggressors, then I suppose I would have had a fair more, few more Poxwalkers might have mm. reached the objective. And I was tempted to put the aggressors on the librarian out by the pipe. That was actually in my deformed zone, so they would have had cover, but I think they, I mean, they would have died, almost certainly. And they, you could have been able to smite them as well from the first turn. That's true. I think the smite being in range would have been the thing that made the difference because my shooting against them was fairly ineffectual mm. anyway. You might have been able to charge them as well and get some extra movement out. The plague marines probably would have survived a charge. I suppose it was a bit risky having my plague caster out front. In fact, it cost him three wounds by being smitten. He ended up out the front because I was subject to the whim of advance rolls and I needed people to be as far forward as possible. And he yeah. needed to get within smite range as quickly as possible as well because he was a major part of my ability to do damage in this mission. Perhaps in hindsight I should have taken, rather than Blades of Putrefaction, although it allowed me to pull off a combo with the uh, Plague Surgeon, might be better off taking something like Plague Wind, so I could have done more mortal wounds, you know, another damage yeah. power, in other words. The Death Guard really need to, when they get to the objective, they need as few space marines to be there as possible. Miasma Pestilence was still useful because it saved a few hits on Plague Marines and uh, in melee as well, actually. It meant the aggressors barely hit anything. Yeah. Well, I mean, in hindsight, Psychic Fortress didn't do anything. I mean, I don't think it was a particularly bad choice. I might have considered taking Psychic Scourge instead. This is another, again, slight play when it's another damage dealing. And, and it'd be quite good against Poxwalkers because they have terrible leadership just to whittle down that unit. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's too much more to say about this mission. So if you like this content, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you've been playing these missions as well, leave a comment. Tell us how you got on. How, how, what do you think about this scenario? We've been the Tabletop Donkeys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.